What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 19 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to render up to two times faster because let's say that you have a video that's taking an hour to render. We're going to crank that down to 30 minutes or less depending on how your system is going to react to these settings. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to hit the like button down below. Also subscribe to the channel for more of these helpful tips about how to render faster or how to, you know, fix your pre view lag or how to prevent Vegas Pro from crashing all these videos and by the way guys my single from my full length album has released on September 15th it is now available on all platforms Spotify Apple Music Deezer you know the whole thing everywhere you can stream it and the full length album is going to release in October so I'm really really excited for that guys and I would say let's go ahead and get started rendering two times faster right after the intro Alright guys, so right now we are in Vegas Pro 19 and just a few quick tips I'm going to give you guys to make sure to render up to two times faster. You can do this on any actual system that you have. So what we're going to do first of all is drag something in our timeline because otherwise the render as button right here is grayed out. So I'm just going to drag in a random file of text. It doesn't really matter what kind of file it is just to make sure I can go into the render settings. So right now let's go and select it and let's go to file at the very top and let's go and hit render as. Now if you want to render up to two times faster, you actually have a lot of formats right here that you can choose from. Right here I always have my Sony AVC slash MVC format with my 50 FPS GH5 because GH5 is my camera. What we're going to do is we're going to pick the Magix AVC slash AAC MP4. Then we're going to pick the settings that we have our video and the resolution and the frame rate. Right here we have this equal sign, meaning that this is exactly the same quality as we will have it in our project that matches the settings. So right here we're going to pick this one, but then we're not going to hit render yet. We're going to hit customize template and we're going to tweak a couple settings right here at the bottom. So right here we have the encode mode. Right now it is set to NV encoder. So let's go and place it to main concept ABC. Now I want to mention that main concept ABC means your high CPU usage that can use up to 90% of your CPU. That's actually what I wanted to point out. And the NV encoder means low CPU usage, which is gonna be around 20 to 40% maximum usage of your CPU. So if you already have this one on NV encoder, try to get this one onto main concept, but I'm going to pick the NV encoder one. If I place this on main concept ABC, it is all grayed out. We cannot change the preset. So we're gonna change this to NV encoder. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to look at the preset and we are going to pick the low latency, high quality and the RC mode. We're gonna place that one to CBR just like that or CBR high quality, depending on which one works the best for you. Like I mentioned, it depends from system to system how easy this works and how fast and how efficient it is. So what I have right here might not work for you because my system is of course different. It's maybe stronger or less stronger than what you have. So just make sure to you know mess with these presets and make sure everything is good. Maybe high performance will actually work better for you and the RC mode, just CBR or CBR high quality. And that is something you can try. Also, the VBR high quality, you have to just go ahead and check and tweak a few settings to make sure that you have the optimal ones. The bit rate, the maximum is going to be 40 million and the average is going to be 20 million. And once we have done that, we can just also choose our frame rate, which is of course 50. But if you have shot it in 60 FPS, you can just fill in 60 or 30 or depending on how much frames you have used. And then we're gonna go to the audio tab right here. Then the bit rate is we're gonna change this one all the way up through 320. You can even crank this up all the way for the highest quality possible. We also have the project tab because there's nothing much to do in the system tab. Right now we're gonna to go to project and the video rendering quality plays that one to best as well. And then right here at the top, we can give this a name, for example, render faster and then maybe between brackets two times so you know this is the preset for faster rendering so once you have that you're going to just hit this disk at icon to save your template and then you can render it out and of course if it doesn't work or if it does the opposite for you guys 
if it's going to slow down your rendering, just go back, tweak the settings, cancel your render, save your project, and just make sure that you know you tweak the settings until it is faster because I actually received a lot of comments that these settings actually sped up the render by hours and hours because certain people have videos that it took like six hours to render, they took it down to four hours. It is still really, really a long time to four hours, but it's still an improvement nonetheless coming from six hours. So just go ahead and tweak your video settings because of course you can crank it down to like 10 minutes because of course it depends on how heavy is your project, how many files do you have in, there, how long is the video, how much color grading have you used, how many plugins have you used, background music, all of these factors play a role in how long your video needs to render. That's why one video of 30 seconds from your iPhone takes maybe five minutes to render, but once you're gonna add color grading, sound effects, an intro and outro text, it's going to take a little bit more because the more elements you add, the more longer it's going to take to render. So once you've done that, now you can go ahead and test it out. If it doesn't work, like I mentioned, go back, tweak the settings, and that that is how to render up to two times faster in Vegas Pro 19. All right guys, so that's the for this video. This is how you render up to two times faster and the right settings. If this video went by too fast, guys, make sure to pause it, rewind it, you pause the video and just make sure to copy all, this, all the settings that I do. Do just a couple test videos because if you're gonna do this and something comes out a little bit pixelated, make sure that you have all the settings right before you're gonna write a comment, for example, because of course, when this video goes online, I also have tested this on different different videos and all that to make sure it actually works. So guys, that's it. Also make sure to check out the single that released in September for my full length album. The Spotify link is down in the description, but of course it's also available on Apple Music, Deezer, iTunes, everywhere you can imagine, even on Instagram stories as well. So that's it and I'll see you guys obviously in the next video.